What in the world did you eat? Whatever it is, it's moving. That might be a rat. <laughs> People ask me all the time, how in the heck do I fish in the LA River amongst all that trash and the smell and the dirty water? Someone else's trash is someone else's treasure. This is my treasure. <laughs> People call them sewer salmon, Tijuana trout, gutter groupers, mud marlin. I call them golden nuggets, because that's what they are to me, a precious gem. My name is Lino Jubilato, and I am an LA River fly angler. Oh my. We got bass, carp, catfish, um, bluegill. They all thrive in this river. I've been fishing the LA River for probably close to 40 years now. You know, I've been coming here since I was a little kid. You know, we used to have to climb through a fence to fish down here, and my grandpa wouldn't let me release anything, including the carp. It smells like that rotten egg kind of smell, because when you step in this water, that gas will come up, and it just, it will hit you really hard right here. <laughs> Can't imagine catching carp without, you know, the graffiti on the walls or the shopping cart next to me. Ooh, look at this guy. <laughs> That's like a dolphin. <laughs> Dumpster dolphin. <laughs> you know, the fish can be eaten. Ooh. In moderation, obviously. You don't want to be eating this every day. Woo, he's a gorgeous one. That is a beauty. You don't want to eat the skin on these fish, that's for sure. Look at that. Man, these are wicked. <laughs> Jeez. The scales are so strong that it's so tough to fillet these things with the scales on. Oh, much better. There we go. Okay. What's kind of interesting to me is that the fish is, is a kind of a red color. You see that? It's, it turns white when you cook it, I know that. There's your sashimi right there. I would never in a million years eat this thing raw. <laughs> this uh, refrigerator worked out well as a cutting board. It's perfect. Probably every overpass that we have here along the LA River has a homeless encampment just like this. You know, they have a lot of homeless communities here. And uh, I know that a lot of them do fish the river and catch carp and eat them for dinner. I know a lot of folks that really swear by these fish and I have to say that the texture of the fish is great. I am going to make a uh, beer battered fish that I usually do when I go camping. I don't normally eat carp, but uh, my grandpa used to tell me that anything tastes good swimming in oil, so we're frying it up. I wouldn't eat this every day, but I certainly would try eating it once a year, that's for sure. Wow, that looks amazing. Mmm, it's nice and crunchy. Tastes just like fish sticks to me. I'm very, very blessed to live so close to this river. It's just a really peaceful place to get away. And it's just right in the heart of LA. 